So now that you guys would have seen this on the first video of this project we're doing. Hey, Robbie said it's not a project. It's a sacrifice. It is a sacrifice. That's the best way to put it. But this is unrelated to that whole other little series we're going to do on this. This part of the reason also we got this car is to try to do a fairly inexpensive plug and play um, st aftermarket standalone system for this engine, more specifically the AWP. So we want to uh, basically configure a plug and play adapter harness and DCU to make it very simple to make this car run on standalone. And we're going to use Clayton this ECU. So this is ECU Master, EMU Black. Focus, you f Ooh, that's good, AVE. EMU Black, we're gonna use this ECU. We're actually, that car is running the same ECU as this one. That's a 2.5, five cylinder. But we're gonna do an adapter harness to make this car run. We have it basically figured out now. We're gonna show you how easy it is going, how easy it's going to be to pull the ECU out of the car and get it running on the new ECU, on the standalone ECU. Yeah, most time people are really afraid of standalone. Yep, right? and so. with the plug and play stuff, it definitely makes it a lot more simple. So what are the perks to this, Clayton, over let's say tuning a stock ECU? Uh, everything. Yeah, so a lot, <laughs> a, there's a lot. There is some additional cost, but if you weigh it all out, to do, let's say Eurodyne, like if you wanted to try doing your own tuning on a uh, 1AT, uh, on this chassis, you typically are going to use Eurodyne as one of the most common, Maestro 7, which is going to be one of the most common self-tuning options, and right? Let's, yeah, and let's talk about that for a second. So you've done a lot of tuning, multiple standalones now, and Maestro Eurodyne is quite different than the thought process of anything else. You've yeah, done. so the difference with Maestro, and obviously if you've seen, I'll put a couple of videos above of the cars we've done, Clayton's Rabbit used to be on Maestro as well. It has its time and its place for sure, but it is way more cumbersome to try to tune in every ECU, not every, but a lot of ECUs between the different platforms are substantially different in the maps that they allow. And there's going to be limitations to it on what you can do with Maestro and the stock ECU. And the last part of it, you have a lot more functionality with something like this. So launch control, rolling anti-leg, you can do, uh, this ECU will allow you to do uh, a flex fuel tune so you can run E85, then put 91 in it. Well, how about this too? Safety things. There's all kinds of safety parameters. And everything, everything communicates Everything with each other. is built into this. So you do not need to buy a wideband controller. It's built into this. Boost controller. Yeah, you don't need a, an aftermarket electronic boost controller. You would need a solenoid, but it's going to be available with the kit and the package. And again, everything communicates together. Yeah, there's nothing, there's nothing separate you need. This is all you need to run the car, and we're going to show that in just a minute. But some other perks. Oh, what I was getting to for Eurodyne, for the comparable like self-tuning option, it's 900 US dollars for a Eurodyne Maestro 7 cable and suite and package, you know, with the cable to and the tuning suite thing and to be able to do your own thing. Yep. This is going to come in at 1400 US, but again, it comes with a four bar map sensor. So you're not going to be limited on the stock map sensor like you would be running Maestro 7 on this, which is good for like 21 pounds, 22 pounds. You have the ability to do rolling anti-lag, launch control, boost per gear, which is a huge one. Um, all kinds of fail saves so if to you be able to run ethanol. Extra stuff, yeah, I mean, if you just look at some of the cars we've done where we run an aftermarket electronic boost controller, that cost and the Eurodyne package is going to equate equal what this is going to cost. 100%. Right? So we figured it out. We're going to start the car, run it on the stock ECU, and we're going to try to probably do this in one cut just so that you guys can see how simple it is. I already have a file loaded on this, um, and we're gonna show you how simple it is to do plug and play standalone on your Mark 4 180. So for one of your customers that buy this from you, 
get the harness, get the ECU. You'll get a file to start the car? Exactly, file, and then do what we're gonna do right now. Exactly, right. and we're gonna have the option for people, if they want custom tuning, we'll have that available, or if they want a base map specific to their application, be it fuel pressure regulator, injector size, all that stuff, we'll have those as options as well. Okay, so let's run it the way it is. All right, what are you doing? It has, the battery was junk when we got the car. I just hooked up the booster to it. The horn might sound when we first turn the key because everything's been disconnected. So don't be alarmed when the, the horn, you've been pre-warned, the horn may beep. Stock ECU. Jeez. I bet you it scared you still. Yep. Purrs like a kit. That sounded good. Yeah, yeah, good, good. So I do have to disconnect the battery. But we're gonna try, see if this actually works as it should. Go get your stuff. Well, I gotta get this disconnected. I'll struggle a bit. All right, so ECU, adapter, vacuum line. Harness. Has a built-in map sensor in the ECU. And we're the going size. to- The size. Of the ECU? No, no, the size. Oh, uh, me, the size. Yeah, it's like you worked all day and we're doing this at night. Yeah, it's a wonder why that is. <laughs> I wonder why that is. Okay, so the ECU is now plugged in. Yep, vacuum line. Vacuum line's not. I'm gonna pull the line off the map sense or the fuel pressure regulator. Not really what you want to tee in, but ah, it works. It works. We're doing some just proof of concept here. Okay, so now battery. Battery back. So again, files already on the ECU. Files on the ECU, but that's just ECU's plugged in. Harness adapter. The horn's gonna beep. Still? Yeah, because everything has been disconnected. Get a breath. So, running on standalone. It scared me again. So for those wondering, the tag still works. The speedo will still work. The gas gauge still works. The coolant temperature still works. The only thing at this point we see on the dash that would be abnormal would be the traction control, ABS. And that could be simply because this thing's an absolute piece of junk. <laughs> And I never scanned this car before we did anything to it, so I have two-step probably set, but it might be too cold to do the two-step right now. Um, but yeah, use your foot off the throttle. Yep. Yeah, so it's idling, it's idling fine. You can see car runs fine. Still with the, I'll take the camera from Clayton. Still with the. Uh, Still with the EMU black connected. And uh, yeah, rev her up a couple of times, Clayton. See what happens. And there it is, connected to the standalone. Oh, it sounds so good. 180s never lose, man. They never lose. Huh? This one might lose. Yeah, this one might lose, yeah. All right. It's not scary. Just it like runs. that. It runs easy peasy. So we're probably gonna have tons of questions about this. Um, I'll give it a little more detailed description down in the comments. Yes, there are a couple of options to kind of get you to this level. Uh, 
there's one company, I forget the name of Ignitron or something like that. I don't even know how to say it. Yep. Where it's like a stock ECU, but it's still not going to give you uh, the same functionality as this one. Also, ECU Master is pretty huge. So when it comes to support, additional products, upgrades, yeah, they got all, all that sort of, of stuff. Cool stuff. Yeah, they got a lot of stuff. Tire and temperature sensors. And yeah, so for those that don't know, Kayla's R32 is going to be going on the same ECU. Shh, they don't know. That's never getting finished? No, stop it. My daily's going on this ECU. That's never getting finished. With the 2.5. That one's going, oh, that one's already on it, running with that ECU. It was yeah. in a, another video I think more, I did. More on that one later. More on that one later? Yeah. So... Easy version for standalone, we offer it. Links in the description below. Tons of benefits, tons of perks. Super simple to do with the way we got it configured. If you have any questions, ask them below. Clayton, what am I forgetting? I don't know, Probably maybe some stuff, but again, we'll go over more of this more in depth later. So for those that maybe watched the first video of this project build, clearly we're going to be running this car on the EMU Black. See you in the next video. What did Dan say about my hands? Something he messaged me about, like, jazz hands. <laughs>